welcome to prisi anto educational academy in this session again we are going to see the fourier transform problems so there are uh, in fourier transform engineering mathematics 3 in fourier transform there are uh, 10 problems so if you study these uh, 10 problems you can get 16 marks exactly you can get 16 marks so one question will be right in suppose if you study any university there will be the four year transform question will be from only these 10 uh, questions so prepare well find the fourier transform of f of x is equal to two values 1 0 one, one the limit is modulus x less than a for zero otherwise hence evaluate it subdivision one is integral over the limit zero to infinity sin t divided by t into dt which is equal to pi divided by 2 Second subdivision is integral over the limit zero to infinity sine t divided by t whole square into dt is equal to pi divided by two. Both are pi divided by two. Let us see how to solve. Answer is Fourier transform is capital F of a small f of x is equal to f of s is equal to one divided by root two pi. Integral over the limit minus infinity to plus infinity f of x. e power i s x into d x. So, capital f of a small f of x is equal to one divided by root two pi. Integral over the limit modulus x less than a. That's why minus a to plus a. So, integral over the limit minus a to plus a. What is f of x small f of x that is given in the problem one. So, one into e power i s x into d x. Which is equal to one divided by root two pi integral over the limit minus a two plus a e power i s x can be written as cos s x plus i sin s x into d x cos s x is even function integral sin s x d x is odd function odd function value is zero so we have to find the even function value even function means two into integral Over the limit zero to a minus a to a will become two into integral over the limit zero to a. So therefore, two divided by root two pi integral over the limit zero to a cos s x d x. So two divided by root two pi can be written as root of two divided by pi. Already in the previous uh, videos, I explained how to get two divided by root two pi. How we can write as root of two pi pi. So integral over the limit zero to a cos s x d x. So cos s x if you are integrating root of two pi pi sin s x by s limit is zero to a. So for x you have to apply a. So root of two pi pi sin s a divided by s minus sin zero divided by s. Sin zero is zero. So root of two pi pi. Sin s a divided by s. This is the one of the answer. This is one of the answer. So capital F of small f of x is equal to root of two pi pi sin s a divided by s. Next, there are two subdivisions. First one is we are we can solve using the inverse Fourier transform. Second one is using the Parseval's identity. So first one. Inverse Fourier transform is small f of x is equal to one divided by root two pi integral over the limit to minus infinity to plus infinity f of f of x into e power minus i s x into d s. What is f of x that is given in the problem? One, which is equal to one divided by root two pi integral over the limit to minus infinity to plus infinity. Root of two pi pi sine s a divided by s. Just now we got the result. So the result you are, you have to write in this inverse Fourier transform. 
for capital F of small f of x. E power minus I S X into D S. What is E power minus I S X? That is cos S X minus I sin S X into D S. So one is equal to one divided by root two pi integral over the limit minus infinity to plus infinity root of two pi pi sin S A divided by S cos S X minus I sin S X into D S. I sin S X integral. Minus i sin s x d s is odd function, so value is zero. So only you have to find the value for even function. So one is equal to a root of two pi pi divided by root two pi. Root two root two cancel. One divided by root pi root pi can be written as one by pi. So one is equal to one by pi. Integral over the limit minus infinity to plus infinity. Sin s a divided by s. Cos s x d s, so one is equal to because it is even function. So two divided by pi, the limit is minus infinity to plus infinity will become as zero to infinity. So one is equal to two divided by pi, integral over the limit zero to infinity sin s a divided by s cos s x d s. This is two divided by pi. Right hand side is if it goes to left hand side pi by two, which is equal to Integral over the limit zero to infinity sin s c a divided by s cos s x d s. By taking a equal to one, s equal to t, d s is equal to d t, and the x is equal to zero because cos s x x equal to zero means cos zero will become one. So pi by two it is equal to integral over the limit zero to infinity sin t divided by t cos zero into d t. So pi by two is equal to integral over the limit zero to infinity sine t divided by t into dt. This is subdivision. Answer for the subdivision one. Second subdivision using Parseval's identity. Parseval's identity is integral minus infinity to plus infinity modulus f of x whole square into dx is equal to integral over the limit minus infinity to plus infinity. Modulus f of s whole square d s. So you can write two into integral over the limit zero to infinity. Modulus f of x whole square d x is equal to two into integral over the limit zero to infinity. Modulus f of s whole square d s. Modulus function is always even function because modulus minus three is equal to plus three. Modulus minus two is equal to plus two. Modulus two is also plus two. Why? Because modulus is distance function. Distance cannot be measured by negative. That's why we are writing modulus minus three is equal to plus three. Okay. So modulus means distance. Modulus function means distance function. Distance cannot be measured by negative. Right. So two two cancel. Integral over the limit zero to infinity. Modulus f of x whole square dx is equal to integral over the limit zero to infinity modulus f of s whole square ds. So therefore, integral over the limit zero to a f of x is one one square is one into dx is equal to integral over the limit zero to infinity or root of two pi pi sin s a divided by s whole square into ds. What is the root of two pi pi whole square? That will be two pi pi. So answer is one into dx left hand side. Dx if you are integrating, you will get x. The limit is zero to a, which is equal to two divided by pi. Integral over the limit zero to infinity sin s a divided by s whole square ds. So left hand side, if you apply the limit a minus zero, which is equal to two divided by pi. Integral over the limit zero to infinity. Sin s a divided by s whole square d s by taking a equal to one, s equal to t, d s is equal to d t. So a is equal to one means one minus zero is equal to two divided by pi. Integral over the limit zero to infinity, sin t divided by t whole square into d t. So two divided by pi, it is in right hand side. If it goes to left hand side, one into pi by two will be Pi by two left hand side, which is equal to integral over the limit zero to infinity 
sin t divided by t whole square into dt. This is answer for second subdivision. Hence, the Fourier transform and the subdivisions, deductions are 